have fake nails on for like the first time in my life and I've been doing a lot of like this. So if you hear this during the video, it's a habit at this point. Oh hey, my name is Nadia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are making teddy bear cookies because a little baby is turning one and what says I'm turning one more than teddy bear cookies? Well, a lot of things, but for the sake of today's video, it's just gonna be teddy bear cookies. I'm gonna try and keep this intro very short, so on that note, let's get cooking. We're gonna take things over to KitchenAid, our stand mixer, and we're gonna beat some butter with some icing sugar. Scrape down the bowl as needed and then add the egg. Add the baking powder, salt, almond extract, and almond flour. Almond extract is pretty strong, so if you are doubling this recipe, I would suggest not doubling the almond extract. Unless you really like almonds, then just go for it. You might also be thinking, you've said this before, and it's true, because if you go back probably five months ago, we made witch fingers, and the recipe for the witch fingers and these teddy bear cookies is almost the exact same. I think the measurements are just a little bit different, but all the ingredients are pretty much the exact same. Back to the teddy bear cookies. Once you've added all the almond flour, go ahead and add a little bit of regular flour at a time. In case you're new here, the general rule of thumb is to add a little bit of flour at a time so you can see how much you're actually gonna need. Because sometimes you don't need all of it, sometimes you need all of it and then some, and it is always easier to add than to take away. I added about half the measured flour to the dough while it was still mixing on the stand mixer, and then I added the rest by hand. I ended up adding all of the measured flour and then a little bit extra. You want the dough to be firm enough that you can roll it out and shape it, but not too firm that it kind of crumbles and falls apart. Once the dough had a consistency that I liked, I went ahead and wrapped it in some saran wrap and was quickly humbled by my mom who told me it would be a smarter idea to separate the dough into two discs and wrap them individually. It's just gonna make it easier to roll out, which is what we are doing next. Well, actually first, after I wrapped the dough, I put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes just so it could harden a little bit, and then I went ahead and rolled it out. I lightly flour the counter and I use a sheet of wax paper just to make it even easier to roll out. Of course, you could just flour your counter, flour your rolling pin, and go for it, but I find the wax paper just, it, it helps at the beginning a little bit, you know? You know? I left the dough a little bit thicker than normal, and then I cut out little bears using a cookie cutter. Of course, any cookie cutter works, but the bears are kind of fun because you can fold their arms in and make it look like they're holding a little almond, which is what we're gonna do next. I actually had a lot of trouble folding the arms for these bears to the point where my mom had to step in to help me because she was like, you're just gonna break all the arms off, and I was kind of managing, but it, it was just easier with my mom there. So her two words of advice are, it's easier if your almonds are a little bit bigger for obvious reasons, because then the arms don't have to stretch as much. Um, but if you do have small almonds like we had today, if you kind of tilt the almond ever so slightly so it's on a, a little bit of an angle, it's a little bit easier to wrap the arms around. I mean, you could also just leave the bears as is. They don't have to hold anything but it does look really cute when they're holding the almonds. It's just like a little hug and it's really fun. Once you have the bears on a tray, either holding an almond or not, you can use a toothpick and make eyes and a nose and then bake them at 325 for about 18 minutes. And there you have it, some really cute teddy bears. I'm gonna eat a teddy bear that's a little bit overdone and that's not holding an almond. Do I just... It's been quite a while since my mom made these last, and I had no idea that it was the same recipe as the Witch Fingers. This one is a little bit overdone, and for that reason, I don't love it. I prefer the Witch Fingers. I mean, I did kind of take the ugliest one to try, because the rule in our house is you have to eat the ugly ones first. I don't know why. It still tastes good, like it tastes like the Witch Finger essence is there. I think I'd prefer to eat a witch finger, I'm not gonna lie, but these look really cute. So if you bake them properly, you're good to go. I don't know if any of that information is gonna help you, but here we are. This with like a cold glass of milk. Okay, continuing. Our serving word of the day is badem, which means almond, which is also ironically the shape of my nails. So I feel like we've just really come full circle. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye. 
So with the scraps, what you're gonna do, cause when you cut it, you're gonna re-roll the dough and then you're gonna wrap it and put it in the fridge and work on the other disc and then just keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until you have no dough. Um, so I'm gonna finish making cookies. This is a little bit rock solid because it's been in the fridge a little bit too long. That's really loud. Like that's kind of, and it doesn't hurt. So the word applies to many things. I hate that I've made this a habit. One, one years old or one year old? What do you say? I say one year old. But if there's multiple kids, then it's the one year olds. Years is never plural. In the next present moment. That doesn't make any sense. Just do it. Oh, hey! The timing. Okay. Like. Of course. One special little guy is turning one years old, and see, I said it, I said one years old there. That's weird. You know what? I think I got a good intro take. I'm just gonna leave it at that because I don't think I'm gonna be able to redo it. <laughs>